Hello my dear friends, welcome to learn SAP FIC. Friends, today we are going to learn about monthly depreciation rent under the T code ASAB. Before starting, I request you all, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel and share the videos with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification of all my coming videos. So let's start today's session in which we will discuss about monthly depreciation rent. Now friends, first of all, I would like to tell you, after go live, we need to consider the data transfer date. Accordingly, we mention the period for which we want to run the depreciation. Then we have to mention the reason for posting run. So let's go to SAP screen and see how to run the depreciation. Here, you can run the TCO directly AFAB or the path is on SAP Easy Access screen, click on Accounting, Financial Accounting, Fixed Assets, then Periodic Processing. Then depreciation run here the first one execute this is the window to run the monthly depreciation here first of all you need to give your company code so mention your company code our company code is Tata and then mention the fiscal year for which year you are going to run your depreciation so we are maintaining for a 2020. Here you need to mention the posting period for which period you want to run the depreciation. So I have mentioned here for for fifth period. I want to run the depreciation. Here you have to mention the period as you have mentioned your putting date accordingly you have to mention the posting period for which period you want to run the monthly depreciation here you will get the option four options for reason for posting run so one by one we will understand these four options first one is plan posting period or plan posting run it means plan posting run means when you will follow the plan posting period in a sequence like 01, 02, 03, 04, 05 in a sequence when we want to run the depreciation then we will use this first reason that is plan posting run and in a repeat it will use if depreciation posted incorrectly due to any incorrect selection of ordinary depreciation or due to any incorrect depreciation start date or incorrect depreciation key you have assigned or incorrect and useful life you have assigned so in case you have posted incorrect depreciation in that case first we need to correct the parameters and then execute the depreciation again for same period with this repeat run Friends, when we run the depreciation, so this, so the system run the depreciation for all the assets. In any asset, you run the depreciation wrong. So, this is the option where you can run the depreciation again. Before running the depreciation again, you must correct the parameters which is incorrectly entered. So, after correcting the parameters, you can select this option, repeat, run. So, it will run the depreciation only which asset which you have changed or which you have, in which you have changed the parameters. So, this will only run that assets. Clear? Now next is, and one more thing to be remembered, only 99 times you can change or you can use this repeat run. 
SAP has given the limit only 99 times user can do repeat run for a particular period. So be carefully when you are running this repeat run. Now next is restart. We run the depreciation in a background and due to some technical error or any background issue, if background job is cancelled or stuck between and the depreciation posted some of the assets and then we need to run the depreciation for a same period again. So we use this restart run. Friends, we run the background, we run the depreciation in a background. So it takes around one or two hours to calculate all the depreciation process. So sometimes it stuck in a between the process. So when our asset, all the asset depreciation is not posted, that time we use this restart run to pro the process again, to start the process again. And next is unplanned posting run. This unplanned posting run is select in that case if we have skipped the period due to some reason. So and we want to post the depreciation for a multiple periods. Then we select unplanned posting period or unplanned posting run. We run the depreciation in a test check and then we will just execute it. So unplanned posting run is used to run the multiple posting periods. And planned posting run is used to run the sequence posting period. And if any reason you skip any posting period to run the depreciation, so in an unplanned posting period, you can run the depreciation for a multiple periods. So here I am going to run the post uh, depreciation for a planned posting period. So I have selected this planned posting period. Then you have to take on this list assets under this further options. Take on this list assets. And here we will take on the test run to check if there is any error or not. Then just click on execute. Now this system is closed. I'll restart it again. Wait a minute. Friends, again I have restarted the system. Now we will open the window AFAB to run the monthly depreciation. Or I have shown you the path also. Here we will give the details, company code, fiscal year, posting period for which you want to run the depreciation. And I have selected this first one, plan posting run. And then click on list assets. And here first we will check. So we will tick on this test run to see the errors. Just execute it and then it will ask to you do you want to continue the processing yes press enter so here you can see it is in a green color it means test run completely successfully here you can see the depreciation also if you see it is correct then you will get back and remove this test run and then you have to run the depreciation in a real time. So to run the depreciation in a real time, you have to just click on this programs menu. And here you will get the option execute in background. Click on it. Press enter. Here select the output device or printer. So I am taking the standard printer that is a dummy printer is given by the SAP that is LP01. LP01 is a standard printer or dummy printer which is given by SAP. Here we will not select any physical printer because we no need to print this. So we will just select the dummy printer. 
and click on continue. Just continue. And here you will, you can give a start time when you want to run this background job. And here I am clicking this immediate and just save it. So here at the bottom you will get the message background job was scheduled for program this. You should save this program name or number so that we can check this background job later it is executed correctly or not so friends today we have learned how to run the monthly depreciation if you like the video so please subscribe my channel and share the videos with your friends till then do practice goodbye